zero web host looks like what you're seeing at the moment, but uh, by the time I'm done recording this, it might well have changed. That's part of interacting with the web these days, and so we all have to be flexible, use critical thinking, a little bit of detective skills to find their way around. Um, but let's walk through the process. So I'm going to start with um, with signing up for free hosting, and I want to make sure that I get the free version. Now, I'm not discouraging you from signing up for one of the paid versions like the $79 a month one. Um, I haven't heard anything bad about the hosting experience at 000 web host. Um, and again, I'm not discouraging you from signing up for that service. It's more robust, it's more reliable, and it comes without ads and an email account. So, um, and you know, you'll know the limited bandwidth that we get uh, for a free hosting version. That means uh, things will upload more slowly and less reliably. All that said, I'm profoundly aware of the fact that for many of us, 79 cents a month is way out of our budget. Um, we're spending what we have on our education and that's not part of it. So um, you can do everything you need to do in class with the free version. You just need to have a little patience and perseverance. So I'm gonna sign up for the free version and I'm going to, um, start off with my email address now this is an email address that i set up just for this project so please don't actually reach out to me here and i'm picking a password i'm signing in I'll save that. And now I'm going to go check on the email that I got from 000 web host. So I'm going to go into my mail, check the email I got from them and verify that I'm me and I'm back at 000 web host. And I'm being patient. That's part of the process. So next step i'm in and there's a lot of different options we don't want any of them um, we want other because i'm teaching you how to do this uh, we're being prompted to get chrome part of the price of our free hosting is that you're going to get prompted with a lot of ads and you're going to need to navigate your way through them um, you can try and set a website name. Um, sometimes they're accepted, sometimes they're not. Uh, I'm going to turn off the password so no one else will get into mine. Oops, I may have to uh, cut this part. Um, let me do this real quick there. Now no one can get it. Um, so I'm going to, I, actually, I guess someone could look at that frame. But anyway, I'm going to submit this with no website name. I'll just take the default one. Uh, and again, you know, we're, we're using these free websites to learn to build websites. They're the real thing. But, um, you know, I've got davidcarlins.com that I'm paying a few cents a month for. And uh, this is my class site. Okay, the option here, and again, keep in mind, this will have changed by the time I'm done recording it, because that's the way the web is nowadays. But for now, you want something like upload your site. So I've selected that. You want to get into the file manager. Now, here's a very important part. Everything that the public can see will be in your public underscore HTML folder. So. I've selected that folder. Make sure it's selected before you do anything. The next step, and here I'm assuming that you've already created your project for class in HTML and uh, whatever CSS you need. If there are image files, I'm assuming you've got them. I'm going with a very simple example of just an HTML file, but again, if there's other files that are part of your project, images, um, 
CSS, of course, those have to be uploaded as well. But I'm going to upload a file and I'll select it. And I'll get that off my... I usually advise you guys to um, create a folder on your desktop called class where you're keeping all your class projects. I just created a very, very simple uh, file called test.html to use for this demo. And I'm going to upload it. Now, once I've uploaded a file, when I select it, you'll see that these buttons become active and one of them is the view button. So I'm going to click on that. That opens my um, file and it's simpler than anything you're going to do, but it's a file. Uh, snide oscillations, not what I would have picked if this was a real website and I was trying to brand myself, uh, but I'm not. I'm trying to learn web design here. So the last step of the process is this copy the URL for the, the, uh, the URL to which you've uploaded your work. That is how you will submit your work in class. Don't upload HTML files unless I specifically ask you to. Don't upload CSS files. Don't upload images. I expect everything to be here um, and I expect to be able to click on the link you give me and go directly to your project, not to your website homepage, not somewhere else, but directly to the project. So again, um, you know, because URLs are case sensitive and because it's easy to make mistakes when you type, copy that URL into your clipboard and then paste it into the class website and upload it for me to review your work. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, and the takeaways, um, be patient, be persistent, and, um, and hang in there and let me know if you run into trouble.